and today we're just having a mini update. Dandelion is enjoying her brand new field. <laughs> Don't let this strange look uh, fool you. She's getting a nice little body scratch. And uh, that hot wire that you see there, that's off. So uh, she hasn't been trained yet for hot wire. No. So it's off. We're, we'll, that's a whole other thing. We're just letting her get comfortable. And um, she is just loving the attention. And she has such a pretty field. She's got all this grass. Look at that grass. It's all for her. So this is just her welcome home pen. Um, she'll have a really, really big pasture after this, but we definitely made sure she had some grass to uh, get a little start. And like every animal, she has an entire field of grass, but the grass she wants is just on the other side of this fence just over there it's the exact same same length same everything but that's the stuff over there isn't it it's always going to be the grass you can't get to doesn't it you're so cute look how cute she is she cleaned up right good she did she might have a little hay in her ear yep she's got hay in her ear but other than that she's uh <laughs> she look at her beautiful coat just got spent some time brushing her down Made her spick and span. And she is cute. So guys, what do you think of Dandelion? Isn't she adorable? Out here grazing. So I think when people think of free range cows, this is what everybody assumes all cows are doing. No. <laughs> no, unless you go out and see where your cow that you think you're buying is living, uh, you can never be sure that this is how the cows live. So anyway. This is the advantage of small farms and small homesteads, mm -hmm. is that you actually get to know that this is the life they live. Of course, Dandelion's not going to the slaughter. She's our pet for life. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, she does have a beautiful pasture to play around in. Mm -hmm. This is only the start. Yeah? Yeah, because she'll go up top to the other fields with yeah. the other guys. Yeah. And then we, when I go girls it's time to work then every animal under the sun will come running down that field and it's going to be hilarious <laughs> right now there's a weird turkey sheep goats and emu yeah. and when we let the pigs out the pigs are also included so now there's a cow <laughs> and dogs so yeah it's just crazy it's crazy town hi baby hi are you enjoying your lunch I'll take that as indifferent look as yes. Look at that lip licking. Really enjoying it. I'm getting mauled behind me by a dog if that's wondering why I'm shaking so much just because a dog's trying to lick me top to bottom over here. <laughs> God forbid I kneel down for a second. But one good thing is everybody's getting along. So we had our livestock guardian dog introduced and everybody's getting along well. Uh, you should never one thing to focus on when you're on a farm. That's mine. Give me that. That's mine. Here. Here. Oh, the cow followed us. Isn't that cute? I love that she will follow us around. <laughs> yes, you don't like to be lonely, do ya? Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Beetlejuice, not every video can be about you and your craziness. Oh. Oh, right. This is about a cow. <laughs> But a really pretty cow, a eh, dandelion. Oh, God. okay. I don't think I'm going to get much done with this uh, this dog here. Hey, 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 hey! No, no. Don't chase. That was a good disengage, though. It was a good disengage. Pretty. Sweet. What are you doing? Hi. <laughs> oh yeah! Look how look how good. Just a couple days in and already so easy to pet. It's a little sweet one, this one. Got a sweet one. Not sure why you're eating sawdust.
But anyway, mini update. I definitely wanted to show you Dandelion's little home because last time uh, she was in her house. She was just meeting her roommate, but now she's free to graze. And uh, grazing on sawdust she is. Yeah, okay. Whatever does it for you there. But she's here with a, um, a herd of sheep and uh, they're all just getting along wonderfully. And it is very, very uh, exciting to see how quickly she settled in. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. Go pet your little moo. Cause oh. I'm, go on. Oh, you get in there. She's like, no. no. Don't, let, don't let this fool you. She loves us, I swear. <laughs> Terrible <laughs> example of how much she settled in. But she yeah. does. She comes to us when she wants. Yeah, she's still <clears> learning. <throat> so, it's yeah. quite exciting to be up here. It's her first time being up here. Uh, she wasn't brought up here. She just kind of followed me through the corridor up here. Uh, so she yeah. wanted to be up here. She's met the goats. The goats are not quite sure what to think about her, but they're not testing because she's the same size. <laughs> and uh, she does not like emus. And Kilo wants to know what that is. <laughs> and so that was an interesting thing because Kilo wouldn't stop following her. So she was running away from Kilo. And Kilo was like, well, now i got to run faster. It was a comedy show. For those who haven't seen our other videos, Kilo is an emu. A baby emu. So, uh, and she's much more invasive than our other emus. So she will get yes. into the face of new things. And yes. that was a little much for the cat. But she is really enjoying it, and um, yeah, she's settling in really nice. Yeah, I'm quite pleased, and uh, I like how she followed me in and and whatnot. It, you know. Yeah, she followed us up here. We didn't make her come here, and despite what you just saw about her running away, um, she does seek us out, and she will follow us. Yeah, it's just you know sometimes she wants to be touched, and sometimes she doesn't. She's not lived in that environment for us, so you know. She's not at the point where, you know, being touched and pet is commonplace. But she's doing really well. I can't she wait is. to uh, to get some nice shampoo, appropriate shampoo for her and, and scrub her pretty tail because it's full of poos. But you, um, um, you did brush her, like all, yeah. all her mats and all her crusties that were on yeah. from the farm were all brushed out. Yeah. So she, as you can see, she's... Uh, yeah, She's I looking didn't really get good. all of her legs, but uh, I got most of her there. So. It's just her tail is still a little poopy. Yeah. But of course, she's still pooping on it, so it's yeah. kind of hard to keep it clean. Well, it's, it's got like clusters on it, like, you know. But they're, you know, it happens. It's a cow. Yeah. That's why cow farms, you know, will sometimes shave their tails in the summer and stuff like that to keep them tidy, like just a little bit more sanitary because. Oh, absolutely. I still find it very weird how cows poop <laughs> because they're they're a ruminant, right? But, but they poop like a horse. Well, not even like a horse. It's like baby food poop. Yeah, and it's very weird because then you look at like goats and sheep and even horses. It's kind of like it's weird that it's just like a splat, but also their butt is not where you would think it should be. So They're basically when they poop, unless it's explosive diarrhea, it just kind of runs down a little bit. Yeah, like, so, so their, butt, weird. their butt isn't, like, um, out. Their butt is kind of, like, set in. Yeah. So when they poop, it runs down their body, right? And that's that's a weird design for an animal. Like that, yeah. you know, like, you think it would be such that if they were to stand and poop, it would hit the ground. But it can't. It actually has to run down their body. A little bit, yeah. So and that's something a, we're definitely not used to with animals, because no. this is the first animal we had so that. She's got a little bit of a dirty cooch that I'm pretty excited to have cleaned, but I don't want to, I don't want to stress her out by bathing her yet. Yeah. And um, you know, because she's she is very clean, and we're getting to the point, you know, like the brushing was fun. Uh, it was a little a little tiny furminator, and uh, so then that way I didn't have to worry about like pulling or snagging on anything, because the furminator will just kind of cut through. And then I have now a uh, slicker brush, which is also a dog brush. And we're going to try that because it's wire. So it can really uh, give her a nice rub down on her thick skin. And then after that, we'll probably try a smooth brush. And then we'll probably bath her. Uh, I just want to make sure she's settled in. We don't have any health concerns and stuff like that because she's still transitioning, I think, to a different 
a different pellet feed than what she had before. Um, so we're just taking it nice and slow. We just don't want to overstress her. And she's eating grass now where she didn't have awesome, like, she didn't have grass. I don't think they went really outside as, as super young babies. Although I will say I'm super jealous of that baby hay bale that we seen that we moved when we went to pick her up. It was as green as this grass. See, Tell now me this that is wouldn't what, be delicious. This is what I'm talking about, about her tameness. You want to she, see that? She actually really does like us. Why? She doesn't avoid us. That was just, uh, it might have just been the way Jessica approached. But Dirty couch, don't rub <laughs> that on me. But she, um, she, she's absolutely wonderful. And she's been settling in so well. And it's so exciting. Um, it's exciting to know that the first few days of dairy farm life have been going well. Yeah. Now I want all the cows. I know. And that's the way you are because you are not a normal sane person. That is true. Yeah. That's true. But the difference is, you know, we're going from goats, which is the first animals here, which you need basically a maximum security prison style to contain them and still they'll get out. 100%. To sheep, which are easier to contain but can still be mischievous. Mm -hmm. To cows that need like one line of friggin' electric. Yeah. Like, like we went from the hardest animal to the, to the easiest. easiest. Um, you know, is is cows and, and horses are, are some of the easiest to contain ever. Yeah. So uh, it's not by size, that's for sure. And it's much yeah. like the emu. The emu are pretty easy to contain too, and they're giant. Of course, yeah. they do have the option of not being easy to contain if they chose. Yeah. Yep. Uh, but they're doing good so far, so we're not going to jinx that. Yeah. So knock on wood and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So anyway, it's pretty exciting. We have them mowing our lawn so that I can scrape up the wool from my shearing. Yeah. And then we're going to put that in the garden. So awesome. Pretty exciting. And the garden's doing well. Of weeds. We have, we have some crazy corn in the back, which is really exciting. And yeah, so I mean, everything's going good. And, the, uh, you know, the plan is hopefully we'll grow some corn, you know, animal corn crop that we mm. can, you know, have for the animals. Oh, it's yeah. all going well. It's coming together. Yeah. Took a couple of years for it to come together, but it sure did. This year is really coming together. We're making such huge things. We We're have construction our, going on right now. Our entire field system basically is being changed this year. We're refencing. We're going to fence in probably our whole property this year. We had got a bigger garden. Now we need a bigger garden. You know, we are we got a, a building up and it's just everything All is kinds so of different. And uh, I'm excited because what I'm hoping... Four, and then we'll we'll stop there. Is that in uh, when our babies first start coming, which will be kind of winter time, that uh, we'll basically open up the garage and have almost like an open house market, so you can buy some soaps. We'll have some hot chocolate. We'll bring everyone up here into the backyard. So this is the easy. first I'm hearing of this, guys. So we both yeah. hear about this at the exact same time. It's a a goal, I would say. <laughs> uh, whether or not it happens, it just depends. You know, it depends on the weather. It depends on what we get done. And, you know, we have to make sure everyone's safe, you know, for everyone. So it's, you know, it's, it's a goal. It. Yeah. And we're working really hard to get there because after this road is done, you can actually get safely to the, the field in the back. Yeah. Um, you know, all that we'll need to do is uh, keep going. So. Yeah, yeah, stay tuned. Lots anyway, of exciting things. That's exciting. But that was our little cow update that turned into another rant, but that's fine because it's all kinds of exciting things that are happening. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.